The annual Readings Across American Convoy is heading to Arlington National Cemetery from Maine starting today. 9 a.m. in Columbia is where it leaves. The track will be different this year, of course, because of the pandemic. But when there was a point where organizers weren't sure if it would even be possible, it is now possible and it is now happening. Chloe Tebow spoke with some of the team and joins us this morning with more. Good morning, Chloe. Hi, Lee. Good morning. Yeah, you know, the common thread in those conversations is that everyone involved with this convoy is glad it's able to happen in some capacity, even if there are changes. For example, Gold Star families will be asked to drive separately in rented vehicles instead of together on a bus, and people watching will be asked to social distance or do so online. No matter the format, though, the goal is to inspire a sense of patriotism in a year that's been tough for Americans. My son Daniel died on December the 24th, 2007. And that's the pretty, that's the good looking little guy right there. Cindy Tatum is one of a number of American mothers who knows firsthand what it's like to lose a loved one to service. She's the national president of the American Gold Star Mothers, and this week she's taking on a new title. It's all going to be a wonderful, wonderful um, journey. Tatum is the 2020 escort grand marshal for Reese Across America as the convoy makes its way from Maine to Arlington National Cemetery. She says it means a lot. The organization leaders asked her to do it. There's just something about the fact that Daniel passed away um, at Christmas time and the fact that they honor uh, and memorialize really. Um, our fallen heroes at that time of year. Helping families like Tatum's is really why Reads Across America Executive Director Karen Wooster does what she does. Reads Across America puts a light on those, not only those that serve, but those strong families. So I just love that we're connecting the dots all over the country. Finding ways to do so, even during a pandemic that's kept families apart. And we're all getting a taste of what military families live with all the time. Reason to help them honor their loved ones when they can't get there themselves. I want to make sure that we cover Arlington so nobody has to come there and say, what about my son or what about my daughter? The mission to remember, honor and teach pushing on. We said, well, we'll do whatever we can, but we're going to make sure the mission is carried out. When I'm gone, when my husband is gone, that there will be um, this family who will continue to honor um, our children. About 200,000 Maine-made wreaths will be placed on graves at Arlington National Cemetery this weekend, and thousands more will be placed by volunteers at more than 2,500 cemeteries nationwide. You can find a complete itinerary with scheduled stops and virtual events on our website and mobile app. Live in studio this morning, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine.